Hello, welcome back to Marquee Soaps. Today we are doing a bright neon soap. And we're scenting it in this Beverly Hills clam from Nature's Garden. I always do mix together our oils, additives, and butters. And then we will add in our lye and make this neon soap today. I'm going to split this into three different colors. Our first color is Tennis Breaker by Mad Mica, along with a little bit of yellow mica from Brambleberry. Next we have Tickled Pink from Mad Mica's. And lastly, we have Grape Ape from Mad Micas. Let's go ahead and get our colors mixed up. Now it's time to add in the fragrance oil. The notes say it does not discolor. How oh, is that right? It discolors to a light tan. And it shouldn't misbehave on me. So let's just get it blended by hand first, and then I wanna go back through and mix up these neons one more time. All right, this is nice and thick. Let's grab our mold. So this is a five pound mold from Essential Depot. I am going to make a huge mess off camera. One moment. Cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> oh, and this is my mess. My, my mica spilled all over the counter. <laughs> we have a huge mess. So uh, gotta clean this up. Okay, we're gonna plop in all of the purple, except we will leave a little bit for the top. Because this is thick, I'm gonna tap it down. Now I have a little bit of King Tut Gold Mica that is in some oil, and I'm going to do a very thin layer. Thin layer. Our paint got a little thick on us. Let's see. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop some of this yellow in. And tap this down. Do a little bit more of that gold mica. Plop our pink in, because that, that set up a little fast. We'll just spoon that on there. Pop 
plop it down. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Put some more on there. Grab our hanger tool. And we're gonna see what we can do. <laughs> oh, we got so thick. It was supposed to be a really pretty drop swirl, but I mean, it should be fine. Okay. Now. I'm going to have to show you guys my mess when I'm done here because <laughs> it's something. All right, let's tap this down. And now let's plop the rest of our colors on top. I had such high hopes for the soap. But that is what happens sometimes. And it'll be fine. take the rest of the gold mica pour it all on top I'm gonna use my mini spatula and um, do this I guess Okay, I'm tap it one last time. We will go ahead, clean up our edges. And then we're gonna add some glitter. So I'm taking off these gloves because they are full of mica and oil. We're gonna use some Atomic Number no. Nine from Mad Micas. Ooh, that looks nice. And let me get a brush. We will use our wonderful uh, unicorn rainbow feather brush. tap a little on there. It's a lot in that spot. It's fine. It's fine. It's biodegradable, so it is completely safe to go down your drain. It will not end up in rivers and streams. And it will fall right off. It won't stick to your skin when you're in the shower. It is simply for it to look pretty well before it's first use. We'll go ahead and 
go ahead and do a little bit of hollow rainbow glitter as well. Spray it with some rubbing alcohol. And we're done. So uh, let's come back and uh, see what the inside looks like. Hello friends, welcome back to Marquee Soaps. It is now time to cut into this beautiful soap. Just look at that top. So pretty. I'm going to cut it on its side. That way I don't get as many drag marks from that glitter. Still pretty soft. And here is our first bar. So if this is something that you might be interested in, it will be available on our March release. I am going to do things a little bit differently in March, so you'll have to stay tuned to my Instagram to find out the release date. I'm going to kind of stagger them to see if that helps bring more views to my shop. So I'm gonna do that in March. I'm just gonna release like one product a day, every other day for the whole month and see how my shop does. Normally on Etsy, I release everything at one time. For like the first week, my site gets a lot of extra traffic, then after that it kind of dies down. So we're just gonna do that little test and uh, see what happens. So I thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.